Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is part three for y'all YouTube and whole new podcast for y'all podcasters. Back to our story. Sorry, somebody came to the door, interrupted it. Y'all know I don't do editing and I don't have time to be trying to delete what nobody says or whatever. And yeah, I ain't got time for all that. Go ahead. Um. So yeah, I think she the, she was to me she was apologizing for the, for one not figuring out that hey I have mental problems and two even though I told her but okay yeah well to me what I mean by figuring and out and even Bree spoke to her but okay what I mean figure out meaning she was so focused on trying to figure out no she was so focused on trying to find something against me that's what I mean she was trying. What I mean by I'm sorry, this is whole situation that has me so mad right now. <laughs> Whoo, I'm trying to stay calm, but I want to tear some shit up. But go ahead. Because the part, the reason why she triggered me so bad was she was trying to figure out, and also the part why you were trying, trying to, she was trying to figure out if you were the cause of my mentals. Because she did at one point in between those times. She didn't believe I had mentals, and then, even though you told her, and then when she figured out that I did have mentals, she, and she was looking for a way to, she thought you were the cause of it, so I'm- I am. You get it from my genetics. Not that, meaning- Oh. Because you, even, you, how you explain- Well, you get people. it from both genetics, your dad and mine, but go ahead. I know, but you remember how you explained it, and you already know how DCF does background. I think she spoke to the doctor that said, when we got diagnosed, that told us- told you that if this didn't happen if the trauma that you went through didn't happen correct it wouldn't have been so i don't hold on i don't know what it was this always is call up she's eating lyrical pumpkin let's go hello you hello 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 told y'all that dog is disrespectful and rude Dude. No, I was going crazy with that stupid noise. I hate when that sounds because as soon as I hear it and I doubt myself, my ear picks it up again louder and louder until I get annoyed and finally snap and go see what it is. Um, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I think I can't remember exactly, but I think that's also why she triggered me so. I know. I better. Hold on, okay. I know, I think the, but I think now that you're telling me about it and now that I really think back, I can't remember exactly what happened, but I can try to remember my feelings back then and what got triggered since I am in better tune with my younger self than before and I'm better, and since we, you explained and we actually have a better diagnosis of the mystery diagnosis that no one that could explain for years. That nobody figure out what the hell it was, yeah. Yeah, and now that and then I did a little bit, like you said, do a little bit of research on it. And, um, out of my own feelings and own internal, because the research I did says different things for autistic and different versions, because we know there's different levels. But I mostly paid attention to the ones that have the same, you know, sounding to me, or have the same, um, relevancy to all autistic. Girl, then come on, cause um, but um, yeah. So I think she, cause I read we already went through the whole why I have abandonment issues and why Delano has been. So mind you, at that time they were still doing the abandonment issues problem thing. Um, and I don't think I was diagnosed with that yet because it it wasn't there yet. Like it wasn't where you could see it. So I think she just made it worse when she was trying to find a way to uh oh i think she made it worse when she was trying to find ways that to, to prove that you were behind my whole and not by not genetic I mental but trigger mental and she triggered me because she was this is why i liked her but i didn't like her because if she was right, then yeah, it would have worked where she was trying to talk to me and it pretty much talk to me how you do, but explain the situation in a better way. Um, and she was trying to 
and I obviously understood her because I broke down afterward. But the way she was explaining it, if it was the people that actually did it to me, I would have been hyped because it would be going to jail forever. But now nah, she was talking about all the negative things the people did, but saying it was you and promising to never see you. And now, why, why do you yeah. think I won the case against DCF and that? Let me tell you, she fucked up with you so bad, so bad. Cause that was supposed to be Delano's case technically. She mm -hmm. fucked up with you so bad. That's why when I went and got me an advocate, and I requested to sit down with her, her the supervisor of DCF, my advocate, and I went to that meeting and I clearly stated my child's own therapist explained to her the trauma that you were going through and how you she was negatively impacting you, your behavior, and everything, and she still continued to push you and push you and push you and that's when I told them you guys are supposed to be quote unquote removing kids that are neglected and are you know abused and things like that not be the abuser and cause the trauma I said the case that I feel I have right now I will take all y'all fuckers at this table to fucking court for my child's mental health and my child because at the end of the day, my child went through so much trauma during that time, that was unnecessary. And then the second time what was actually for me, what I think was that did it after the whole thing was over, was, and what kept her, the reason why she kept doing it, was because, of, I don't know how to explain this, because I get where she's coming from in this aspect because you raised us and Bella raised you how to respect the elderly and stuff, but it's kind of a weird feeling I got from her more like, because grandma was elderly and she was your mother, you know, I guess she had a good relationship with her mother or something, I don't know. Yeah, not everybody has a good relationship with their mother. I know, but I guess she was going off of the thought of how all these other cases were where the grandparents step in because the, they know their child and they know their grandchild and you know they know if something's wrong and so, so I guess she had so many of those cases and it actually in truth the mother of the child was the actual cause of the child's downfall I'm just gonna put it that way and the grandparents were actually loving them because I think and I don't think it's her fault, but I do think it's her fault because she was easily fooled. But I think Grandma also picked up, because you know she can pick up on that sort of stuff. So I think she picked up on that. And that would also explain, because there was this one time that she did randomly show up. And I think you did hear, you did hear and I did tell you when we had this conversation afterwards. But I, And you, you expected Grandma to be fake and stuff. But if you were there... You would have, oh my god, you could even, you'd be suffocating from how much fakeness she put in. Oh, she was good at being fake. I mean, <gasps> you remember that time I got stuck on trying to act, doing acting? Uh-huh. That was the reason why she did that. She could be a professional actor. If she was like, oh, I, I couldn't, and the worst part is, she went as soon as the lady as she finally got the lady to be like I guess you could say defenseless. She went for her heartstrings even more because what made the lady defenseless was she was going for her heartstrings. So she went even more for her heartstrings. But this time, knowing what she knew from just talking to her for a little bit, she used what she figured out in a way to pretty much talk to her as how she talked to the family. And that's kind of where I'm at, like, like but don't like in between because her intentions and stuff and the way, and if it was like those other cases, then she would have been right and she would have actually been helping. But because of that, she wasn't and yeah. It was crazy, yo. Like I said, I've always had people attack us. Like, there's always been a problem with my family dynamic from my own mother. But personally, when it comes to my mother, I believe she was just jealous of the relationship that me and my kids had. I believe she was jealous of how close my kids were to me because her and I never had that relationship. But it takes a mom in order to have that. 
you she was never willing to give up anything for me she was willing to give me up to other people to not give up anything that she wanted to do would that also coincide because for some reason this is popping in my head and i can't remember if this is memory or just me just thinking but um if she was jealous this would make sense though of the relationship because i think we did talk about something like that but i was young and I think what also, because I think at that point you were like, why are you trying to baby her? Why are you trying to buy her off? And stuff like this. Afterwards. Yeah, because I used to always wonder, why was she trying to buy you off? That because I think without realizing it, but realizing it, I think I, my little head realized, or my, my instincts were pre pretty much what you said with the picture. I loved her because she blood relative in the picture. I didn't like her in real person because I can actually feel her or her her intent <laughs> on bad, on her negativity and intent on negativity. So I was like, stay away from me. <laughs> so, um, but I think that's what was it? I she regrets but not regrets. Which obviously she doesn't big time. But what I mean is she regrets not having that relationship with you for two for selfish reasons. I'm gonna put that first. And two, but she is not regretting anything she done to you. The only reason why she was jealous of the relationship that you and me had was for, I guess you kind of could say it was my fault, but it wasn't my fault because you taught me to be honest and I had no filter back then. So you right know I was honester than anything. So I think I told her how I really felt and told her how to fix it if she really did want us to care. And that's why she started buying me off because she didn't want to listen to the truth. And the right way to do it, which was pretty much I told her to stop being baddie and actually act like a mother and a grandmother. Well, act like a mother to you. And, well, I guess you can't say I said grandmother too because my grandmother is supposed to love my mother. Because my mother is her child. And so, I think that... No, please stop tapping me. It's called excuse me. Okay? Okay. And then I think that's why she no. thought... And you still didn't say excuse me. Yes. Well, I love you. Okay, and I love you all the time, not just sometimes. You literally just said you love me sometimes. She didn't really put this on the camera than you were now. Anyways, go ahead, everyone. We're, don't you see we're in the middle of doing something though? When you're doing your video, we don't interrupt. We let you do your video. Yeah. <laughs> She's not listening. That's why I just let her dance in the video. It doesn't bother me. Just keep talking. Oh, um. Just stop spinning me, please. And she did spin me a bit, and I hear her. Well, if you go back to where you were, she would have space right there. She wasn't touching you before. There's a reason why I'm I think I was on the bed. Oh, I don't know. The wheel was, the wheel was buggy. Oh. But I also mean, <coughs> yeah. But yeah. Oh, but um. God. Yeah, that's why I think she got. She tried to start buying. Yes, Lyrico. Down. No, you already had a banana. And you had rice with eggs, so you're not getting anything to eat right now. And those little things? No, those little things that you had to eat. Oh, yeah, and then you did have another snack after that, so you're fine. Um, the reason why she started buying me off is pretty much I told her if she didn't actually act like a mother and a caring person to you and, and, stop and change her ways, I was not going to... Uh, like, I need that orange worker. I was, I was not gonna do nothing for her and stuff like. Uh, I was pretty much gonna her. say. Just find a little orange worker. Okay. Something like that. Like, pretty much, I told. I pretty much told her the truth. Stop treating you like shit, and then we can have an relationship. Yeah, but she never stopped treating me. Like I know. Sure. So because. In reality, she didn't want to have a relationship with me. She just wanted the to look that like she, grandmother the damn year to everybody else and a damn mama. That and not that. 
because yeah, she wanted to look like grandmother of the year to everybody else, but she also wanted me to believe that uh, how Delano was. You know how she was sad, even though she didn't like want Delano, she was satisfied how Delano treated her because no matter what she did, and she didn't even spout nonsense to him, he would still try to chase after her love. And be loyal to her. And he be, she be the asshole to tell him that she don't love him. That was some fucked up shit. That That's for your what she grandmother wanted to the tell same you. thing for me. But the thing was, I didn't give two fudges about it because I already knew from jump, from little, I could sense that aura that you don't actually care about nobody but yourself. Especially, I could, I, I think this is what triggered me the Mama, most and why I said it. With my pumpkin. You're still yelling and interrupting, though, my love. Okay. Till this, till the day we have not seen her face to face, this aura has not changed. The selfishness and the fact that she doesn't want, she's lying about the parts that she wants you to, to um, be her family. She just wants you to be like love slave. The difference is not that kind of love slave where you um, are in a relationship with her, but more of a you love her no matter what ordeal. We'll do anything for her because co up in it. Anything for Sissy her took and, it die. From and even die for her, but she don't have to do the same for you. Yeah, and she was mad at the fact that I could pretty much sniff out the phoniness and the fact that you don't actually care about it. She just wants slaves because you think you have a right to it because we're your oh, great. Children. Somebody's gonna interrupt my recording now. This is fucking fantastic. Hello. I can still feel it whenever I talk about it. I have this, I have this sense in my chest that I always had with her, and I can feel it. Man, listen. I don't know. I need this. Oh, I, I should have been recording the next episode. I don't know. All I know is, I've always had people out against me. I already praised. I already had people out against me all the time, and I've always been like attacked by other people, and people have always tried to take my kids from me it's like nobody understands how can i have mental health and function because the mental health does not have to define you as a person it does not have to define how you show up on a day-to-day -day basis you know it, it it as much power as you give your bipolar as much power as you give your depression that's as much power it's going to have over you Every once in a while scenario or a couple of months scenario or sometimes you go into depression because things are getting a little too hard Okay, that's okay But to be constantly triggered and living in a triggered state all day every day that and You're trying to function and you're surviving and your kids are safe and you're safe even though it may not be the best conditions in the world But they at least have a roof over their head or not living in somebody's shelter or on somebody's street so why continue to come for me because I don't see anybody else ditching out coins or dishing out time or saying hey you're instead of oh my gosh here we go again hello why, 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 304 yeah all right thank you I'm not telling you I'm just going to delete that one. I don't want to delete it, but I'm going to have to because... Back to what I was saying before I got the call, which interrupted everything that I was saying. I don't understand why people always come for me and try to take my kids away from me. I feel like it's just a targeted thing because of the mental health. A targeted thing because they don't understand how can I function and still provide. Not everybody that goes through things have to be neglectful not everybody that goes like i can literally be at my breaking point and feel like i want to end the world right now but i'm gonna make sure that i'm trying to be the best parent that i can be during that whole entire process i'm not just gonna turn around and tell my kids screw you i'm just gonna focus on me i'm not gonna do that never been that way still not that way now which is why it takes me so long sometimes to get out of scenarios which is why it takes me so long sometimes to be okay again i'll go through months i'm fine all of a sudden it'll just be a real struggle it'll be like two or three months um uh the door it'll be two or three months of like just straight up struggling 
and in that process I'll slack on certain things in that process I'll struggle with certain things like um, sometimes I'll just be like really lost you know but at my house being dirty really has only been a down here thing because I've really been in a, a bad mental space like a very horrible mental space since my pregnancy and after my pregnancy yes yes it looks beautiful I love it good job keep going keep going um and yeah like it's I'm still trying to officially get all the way out of my postpartum depression that's not including this my de that's not including my depression like yes good job it's so pretty I um I'm still like trying to you know get out of it and I'm still trying to come to but then the the leg things happen and it's like bro first of all because I have two high functioning autistic children even though my oldest is 20 and the middle one is 13 and then I have a preschooler I can't just go work somebody's nine to five job who's gonna take care of my kids or who's gonna be there like I'm in a whole state with no support if I was back home in Connecticut yeah I would have went to work and then I would have you know what I'm saying had the oldest watch my two youngest I'd have been on the phone my cousin would have been helping but I didn't have that luxury because we didn't have nowhere to live so I couldn't do it I just I had no way and then my cousin who would have been able to help me at that time her job has crazy had crazy hours so I couldn't really count on her like that and I didn't, wasn't gonna add pressure to her because that wasn't her problem that the other half didn't keep their word and wasn't doing what they needed to do to help um but the whole struggling to keep everything clean the whole struggling with everything because I was a person before my mental breakdown I was taking showers two or three times a day and then when my mental breakdown came and the postpartum came it was a struggle to get in the shower every day once like and to brush my teeth was really my biggest I don't know why my teeth were my biggest struggle but they really were that's why my teeth are so fucked up now like do you think I want to go through this I want to deal with this no I don't but I have mental health and I have to cope and process and still deal with my trauma deal with my kids fix whatever trauma they have going on or was caused like it's a lot of pressure on a person it's a lot of pressure on a person completely pressure and then when you have people constantly coming to attack you or constantly coming to accuse you but nobody's offering any help that's like if you're seeing a poor little kid trying to walk and they keep falling and you just walk right past them instead of offering them your hand to help them up and help them walk damn humanity's a bitch ain't nobody humane anymore ain't nobody got no empath empathy like nothing i don't know why i said empath like nothing society is just like well fuck you figure it out and if you can't then the first thing is i'm gonna take your fucking kids and then for a person who was suicidal like me that the only reason why they are alive is because of their kids then you might as well just sign my death warrant like you really might as well just sign it because i have no other reason to hold me on this earth anymore and people have always come for my kids and i've always expressed that i've always vocalized that i've always been very open about that the next brother i've always i've always been very open about it like always always and people just do what they do right Biva? Huh? people just do what they do yeah. like the shit is crazy the shit is crazy the shit is crazy like it's just insane anything else you want to share that you remember you're old Yeah, but you're like interrupting nobody this is did, did you get a sense of we were all laughing and joking no. did you get a sense of anything that we were saying was ha ha he he no, so what was the whole point of that you do that a lot and I keep talking to you about that your sense of humor is not funny especially when you do it at the wrong times 
And sorry does not fix everything, Watson. We've been through that as well. Anyways, Beva, back to what I was saying. Because we're about to end this soon. Because I'm already triggered. Like, everything around me has triggered me so bad. Nothing from the past. The only thing I remember now was the pumpkin that she has is the only pumpkin that they had at college. They don't, they think they said last year they weren't going to get the pumpkins. We're going to get something different this year. That's why I grabbed the pumpkin match. How long did you call me? Uh, a whole time. month and a half, a whole two, three, two months and a half. Oh, wow. So yeah, nothing from the past, I don't remember anymore. Just the Delana, let me ask you a question. Hmm? You know, since you're here. No, I'm leaving soon. We were talking I'm about the past. Soon. I'm leaving soon. I'm leaving soon. So I need to ask you. Yes? Do you really feel like if I leave, I'm never coming back? Like yes. I'm like, I'm going to leave you yes. and abandon you? Yes. Why? Because you say it a lot of times. You said it a lot of times, so I assume. That's bullshit. You was doing that way. Don't do not do that. Well, I mean, no, no. I mean, like, from now, I feel I sense it more than, like, some leave, but before, I don't know. I had no reason. I thought you said he doesn't remember. No, yes, remember Baba, some of the things. Baba he doesn't. Baba. And I've never told you I'm going to leave you now tomorrow. Yeah. He doesn't want what do I say exactly? You're gonna run away? Me! I'm leaving! Yeah! Also, Donald, all those things that your dad told you that mom would do, that's what is causing the thinking of the um, He doesn't understand because his dad's been, like I said, his dad's been doing it since he was young! Like, baby, pretty that's much. That's so, he means that's him talking to him regularly because that's how he always talked to him. He doesn't that's realize these good. certain things. I'm the one that realizes it, and that's why yeah. I get mad. He doesn't realize. That's why he I heard me you. Down. I shook my head yes, Lyrical. That's why he tries to calm me down because he doesn't know why I'm getting so mad about. Because he didn't realize this is what I'm getting mad about. Because your dad said this, and this is what it means. The things, he probably doesn't remember half the things his dad says because... Um, it's either traumatizing or it's connected with his PTSD. And he didn't like half the things that were bad that Delano felt bad, bad about, like he was blaming himself about. Those are the times I would actually explain the words to him and explain that it ain't your fault. And you know, you my big sister thing. But like I told you, they talk to us like we were stupid kids, and at and obviously, since Sandy doesn't really teach Delano nothing, he really was like a stupid kid, but he wasn't stupid. Mom. He just didn't. He had hope. He had hope that it would change, that they would actually show him love, that if he did what they said, that he would get the love that he had so much for them, even though they didn't. They didn't have no love for him. Exactly. But like I said, all those words, the ones that hurt him the most, I already know he locked them up because those are the words he understood. And also those are the words that are his triggers. And some of his triggers, not all of them. But majority of the main ones. And then the other words, I remember the words, the meaning of the words. Like I tell you, I remember the meaning of the words because they're talking to us like kids. But like little, little kids. Under our age, kids. Um, and they didn't think I would understand it. Delano didn't actually understand it because they were talking to me like he, I was his age. All right, let me get the marker. So back and I guess that's why he didn't understand it. They were talking to me like I was his age, but in reality, I understood every single word you said. He didn't understand because he thought, you know how Grandma used to tell him he, how she hated him, but still acted like he, she, but, but he thinks she said she loved him. It's the same thing. The same exact thing. Nah, he started to hear it because remember he would cry. He would come down. I know, and cry. but not the but that before the hear. I'm talking about the times you and her had that conversation about. Hey, you got a blunt? Do I have a blunt? Yeah. Here, mom. I did good on on that pumpkin. Okay. Let me show. 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 Let me show.
a plan, and I definitely don't want to die. So who your pumpkin? All right, well, we've been talking a long time, did a couple of videos, and did already one whole podcast session, another one. I still have to do my last coaching session. We didn't do it today. Oh. I think I'm going to leave it for tomorrow. What do you think? Just because, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Please. And just because little kids may not understand certain words, that doesn't mean they can't comprehend the meaning behind it. You can say a word, and they can understand the meaning. Just because you act and smile nicely and talk in a nice tone doesn't mean every kid is as stupid as people think. Some kids can trick you and act stupid, but in reality, they're geniuses. They just don't want to deal with your BS. And that comes from Grandma and Sanjay, Delano's biological father. Because they acted just because I had conditions and I acted stupid at school because I hated my certain teachers and the certain person, other people that triggered me, including students, um, that don't mean I'm an idiot. And that's, and that's also where I think I'm not smart and stuff came from, because they literally would say, why, right in front of me, because they believed I was an idiot. I ain't no idiot. I understand everything. Why do you think? And they think I would get mad for no reason, too. I get mad because I know the meaning of what you think you're hiding in your sentences and in your auras. I can read you like an open book. But they never saw that because I wouldn't let them see that because if I proven that, they were just going to be even more stupid. And it was already bad enough that one time I could actually let Grandma know I know how to read certain people. And she tried to use me for, um, for something she wanted, but I didn't cooperate and that's also why she bought me off not to tell you. I just forgot what it was because I was like, I don't care because I didn't actually do it. So I did not participate in nothing evil. So I just put it in the back of my head and I enjoyed what I was eating. And I milked her for that experience. She <laughs> Well, y'all, hope y'all were entertained with the drama of my life and my children's life. And um, hope y'all have a blessed day. And... Don't forget, somebody has it out there worse than you. And I know there's somebody that has it out there worse than me. So I just try to use that as a motivator to keep me pushing. But, um, but, but, do you want to say something before we leave? I love you guys and rock and roll. <laughs> Anything else? And. Aww, you do a heart. You're so sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. I keep forgetting not to fly, smile all the way because of my damn tooth. All right, y'all. It was nice knowing y'all. Be blessed. Don't forget to count. Um, don't forget to. It, oh my gosh. Don't forget today and promise to nobody. So make it count and let's make yesterday jealous. I don't worry about tomorrow. Yes, Got promise. this. Later, Gators. Yes, promise. Promise what? Yes, promise to everybody. Promise what to everybody? I think she's trying yeah. to say. Other than that, but she meant when you said when tomorrow's not promised to anybody, she's trying to tell you promise that tomorrow's to you guys. Oh, 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 I got you. Alright, later gators.